hackers, uh, in the sense that we speak about it, are the inventors or the tinkers of the 21st century. The hacker mentality prevents waste because it gives people more or less the skill set to repurpose. that don't work and throw it away. Um, in this case, I take it, if it doesn't work, I fix it, and then it works. Uh, the trash heap is full of beautiful things like this that, um, that don't work anymore, but, and that would otherwise end up in landfills. So we're not only working with cool stuff to make other cool stuff, we're also keeping these things away from landfills. I mean, most most processors have lead in them. Almost all old circuitry has lead somewhere in it. And it's a very expensive to recycle uh, and kind of a horrific process for the people who have to recycle it. So the more reuse you can do, the better. You know, you have a board that already does something and you may find something creative to do with it. Otherwise, somebody will take this to the dump. Think about it in the sense of just the overall spectrum of manufacturing. Things are generally mass produced in a factory, then it spends time on a ship getting to your store, which then sits on a shelf for a really long time, and then eventually you hopefully buy it. So with 3D printing, that whole you know, paradigm shifts, and essentially instead of having all that infrastructure built up to create products and distribute products, it's kind of on demand and readily available in your home and garage. So this 3D printer was 3D printed by me in a sense that I own a 3D printer and this 3D printer is made up of 3D printed parts. The two materials we mainly use is either ABS, that's the same stuff Legos are made of, or we use PLA, polylactic acid. Uh, sounds bad, but it's actually the same stuff your biodegradable grocery bags are made of. And that's based on a cornstarch. So when you're actually printing with it, you can smell it and it kind of smells like waffles. It smells great, as opposed to you know ABS. You can imagine what burning Legos would smell like. Not too pleasant. <laughs> so ABS, bad, it's based on petroleum, PLA, based on corn, eco-friendly, biodegradable, good. You know, right now, on the consumer level, we might be printing with just plastics, but there are people out there 3D printing organs, 3D printing with metals, uh, multi-materials. The ultimate goal is pretty much to have that Star Trek replicator, that you can just walk up to a machine and say, Earl Grey, hot, and then the cup and the tea just forms in front of you. So ultimately, that is the future, and believe it or not, it's not so far away as you imagine. We're hackers, so we, we sort of hack stuff together, and it's not always, uh, it's not always efficient, it's not always um, the best way to do something. And some people don't want to know how it works, they just want to slap down the money and walk away, but I don't know, for me personally, it, that there's just no fun in that. The hacker mentality is not for everyone at this point in time. It is definitely open for everyone, but not everyone is willing to embrace it.